The first book that I'm reading is Sapphire Blue, which I've already read 149 pages of. This book is about a family who carries a time traveling gene, but to have that gene, you have to be born on a certain day. So, not everyone in this family is a time traveler, it's just a specific person, and everyone thinks that it's her cousin Charlotte, but surprise, surprise, it's actually our main character, Gwyneth. And it's just a really fun, fast book about time traveling. I read for a little bit before I had to get started with my work but basically I just worked on my small business, packed some orders and then after that I did my essay. I didn't really film that much of the whole process because I feel like it's very repetitive as every reading diaries video that I do is kind of like the same thing over and over again so I wanted to focus more on the books that I've been reading in this video. who feels my little wattpad heart because it's a really fast and easy book to read i really love the romance in it which is basically why i wanted to read it again but it also sucks because they've known each other for a span of a couple days and they're already in love with each other it's really funny because in this book they have this whole confession scene and gideon who is the love interest is like i know we've only known each other for a few days but i'm already in love with you and our main girl gwyneth is very very happy but i'm like it's only been a few days and you're already in love with each other i don't understand but i still like reading it because it's just something about the way that it is written just makes my little heart very happy gideon is the very like conventional attractive guy that obviously gwyneth really really loves and he's one of those cool guys that leans against the wall and stuff like that i don't know i find it really funny when guys are like described to be very mysterious leaning against walls so i'm obviously going to be proceeding with emerald green which is the last book in the trilogy it's very short it's only 298 pages so i feel like i will be able to finish it tomorrow and hopefully read as much as i can today I went to uni today because I wanted to see my artwork one last time before I never see it again until the day that I present it. Guys, you have no idea how much I wanted to leave this studio. I was so tired of being here, my head hurted, but I had to stay there because I was like, it took me 50 minutes to travel there, I don't want to spend like 10 minutes there and then go home. So I ended up watching the second last episode of Lovely Rona and it literally took me an hour to watch it which perfectly fine with me and I was eating lunch to kind of make an excuse of like you know what I'm eating lunch right now it's okay for me to watch a drama but I was so excited for the last two episodes to come out and I loved it so so much i don't know something about this drama it's like my recent hyperfixation i listen to the osts i watch all the edits and then i finally had to work on my essay emerald green is a five star for the nostalgia but in reality i'd probably give it a three stars it was just really annoying because gwyneth is so whiny in this book she's constantly crying and i'm like what are you even crying over because every little thing that happens tears just streaming down her face and I don't even know why she's so upset or why she's so sad. The romance in this book as well, I just felt like it happened way too quickly and from the second book where they were still figuring out the relationship and there was some sort of angst all of a sudden they're professing their love to each other. I just feel so conflicted because their relationship overall is very much a teenage first love she first sees Gideon she obviously thinks that he's very attractive which is why she likes him other than that I'm not really sure why she likes him I don't really know why he likes her which is why I say this is a quintessential Wattpad 
books. It doesn't make sense, but it is fun to read. The next book that I'm reading is Heart of Flames, which this book on my Kindle says that it's around 700, 800 pages, and I think physically this book is around 500 to 600 pages so i'm obviously just going to follow with the pages that my kindle is telling me i haven't started reading this book yet but i am pretty excited and i feel like with fantasy books you really have to prepare yourself you need to be in the right headspace to enter the world and to get into the world reading and the characters and stuff like that <laughs> retyping it for like the billionth time and it's not going anywhere I don't even know how long I've been working on it but it's not it's not going anywhere <laughs> on my assignments and so far I've been really enjoying it. I don't really know how to explain my thoughts about this book but I think it's good. Every single time I pick it up I get really excited and I want to read it because something about it is easy to read but also I feel like at this point we are kind of getting into the juicy part of the story. The main issue that I have with this book as of right now is the multiple point of views. I personally don't like multiple point of views and this book has five and the thing is it's kind of useless in a way because it's not consistent where the multiple point of views pop up like in alternate chapters this one is kind of random because we, we have the main character and her point of view and then sometimes like a sprinkle here and there we would get another character's point of view and then another one and they all have their different plot lines which I know that in the end it's gonna like merge together and make sense but as of right now I don't care because I don't have any connection to those characters. We get introduced to one of these characters in the first book but we don't get his point of view until this book and to be honest I don't care about this guy. I don't care about what his story is so whenever I read his chapters and so far he's only had like two maybe three I'm like I don't really you know I could live without your chapters I get why they're there but at the same time I feel like it's useless because it makes the plot feel a lot slower because as I mentioned it shows up in random times it's like they're all doing different things and then the timeline is a bit messed up because I don't know when things are happening and I truly think that some of them do they really add anything to the story as of right now no um so i accidentally deleted this clip so i'm basically here just to reiterate everything that i said there but i ended up dnfing heart of flames yeah i ended up dnfing it and the reason why is because i read ahead to winds of shadow which is the last book in the series and i was just kind of skimming through it trying to see whether or not i think it's worth it to finish the series especially because these books are quite thick and i feel like it's a lot of investment especially if you're not really enjoying it so I think the reason why I didn't particularly want to finish it was because of just the lack of plot and action in this book especially with fantasy I want it to be exciting I want it to have high stakes but this one just felt really repetitive especially from the first book it just felt like a lot of talk no action I also did not like the romance in this book to me romance is very important especially the chemistry between the two characters because i feel like it just makes me want to read the book even more i love the fantasy elements but you know what's better the romance along with the fantasy and i was just reading 
the romance in the third book and it just felt so flat there was no chemistry between the two characters and the way that it was written didn't really feel genuine to me i felt no sparks between the two characters which is kind of disappointing because in the first book i did like them together i was excited to see how the relationship would progress but then over time i'm kind of like i don't really care you know i want to read a fantasy book that is good and exciting so i ended up dnfing that book and i chose another book which is called <laughs> bookish and the beast i wanted just something that was simple light and easy to read and this is a romance book between a celebrity and a normal person i guess it's also the last book in the once upon a bookish con series which i've been wanting to finish this series for a while but honestly it was exactly the type of book that i was looking for after reading heart of flames i wanted to give you guys my final update of the books that i've read so i finished reading bookish and the beast which i really loved this book it was just a super fun quick book to read we basically have vance who is a celebrity who becomes disgraced in the public eye so he's forced to move to this small town and in this small town he meets rosie who for circumstances that i will not explain because it's too complicated she's forced to work in his library which is how they got close we don't really get a good impression of Vance in the beginning but over time once he starts opening up his personality is so funny I don't know just the things that he says and his reactions it's just it's so funny to read I can't even explain it's like shy boy nervous boy but but I honestly really really love him and then we have Rosie who I think is also really funny because there was basically this scene where Vance and this guy named Garrett who is trying to force her to go to homecoming with him are basically physically fighting and both of them are not landing any punches and Rosie is like there are two guys fighting over me but honestly I'm not impressed I just really enjoyed the chemistry between the two characters and the development of the relationship I love romance where they have an emotional connection rather than a physical one and just the way that the romance was written in this book was so good I will say the aspects of the plot didn't really make sense, I will be honest. Don't really know how it led to this whole event, but it was super fun to read. I started reading The Foxhole Court, which I would say to check the trigger warnings for this book because there's a lot of mention of suicide and mental health. And the way that they talk about it is very casual, which kind of makes me uncomfortable. But something about this book is also really addictive to read. Every single time I sit down and pick it up, I just want to continue on reading it because something about it just makes me want to read it and finish it however this book is very toxic we have a made-up sport called Exy and Niles Niles? Neil is signed into this group and this group is made up of broken people so obviously it's just a bunch of people who have issues and then we get introduced to this character named Andrew who I'm honestly really confused about his character or what's going on with him because the way that he's described really really scares me so we'll see what happens this book is super popular though i remember in the past a lot of people talked about it and i read it online on a web page if you guys get what i'm talking about and because of that i don't remember anything so i'm excited to reread it so i am enjoying it a little bit confused a little bit convicted but i will admit it is good also toxic though so to talk about all the books that i've read this week the first book that i read was sapphire blue and then i finished reading emerald green i dnf'd heart of flames and i also finished reading bookish and the beast and i started reading the fox so Court. i haven't finished reading it yet so in total i've read a thousand and one hundred and thirty six pages <laughs>